Hi, this is Jason with Spider Paintball, and today I would like to show you a few paintball safety tips. Remember, paintball can be an enjoyable sport and safe at the same time, as long as you follow just a few simple rules and use common sense. Let's get started. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a barrel blocking device, and every Spider Paintball marker comes with one of these. There's a reason, it will keep you safe. This right here is a barrel plug. And we also make a barrel sock, which goes around the end of the barrel here and secures with a strap to the end of the paintball marker. You should insert this at all times when you're not actually in a live paintball game. So you're at your house, in the car, in the parking lot, it doesn't matter. Keep one of these inserted in your paintball marker in the barrel and it will keep you safe. To do so, you just take this plug here and we insert it into our barrel. Now, we're protected in case our marker accidentally fires. Before and after each time you play paintball, it's a good idea to tighten the screws on your paintball marker. We have a Spider Phoenix here, so I noticed I have a couple screws for my air source adapter. I have some screws for the grip frame cover. Looks like my eye has a screw here. I have a screw for the feet neck right here. Now, each marker is different. You'll have a different set of screws. But as a general rule of thumb, it's a good idea to tighten these before and after each time you play. There's a spare parts kit with each Spider Paintball marker. The tools that you need to tighten all of these screws are in that spare parts kit. This is a paintball safety goggle. You've probably seen it. You can rent them at all fields or you can buy your own pair. This is an obvious step, but extremely important. There's a reason why, our face. We want to protect our face at all times during the game of paintball. If I'm out playing a game and somebody shoots me, I don't want to take my goggle off. I want to leave it on until I'm in a safety designated zone at a paintball field. And all barrel blocking devices should be inserted into all the paintball markers in your group before you think about taking this off of your face. Also, in your garage you may have some safety goggles or glasses. Or, look at these, sunglasses. Should you use these instead of a paintball approved goggle? No, I'm afraid not. Absolutely not. So ditch those and get a pair of goggles that fit firm and snug on your head and it will keep you safe every time you play paintball. The next safety rule I want to talk about is called blind firing. You do not want to blind fire. What does this mean? It means do not take aim at a target and shoot at it unless you have a clear line of sight on that target. This will keep everybody safe. Blind firing could be reaching around a bunker like this trying to shoot somebody around the back. Boom! No, not going to get it done. What you want to do is get a clear line of sight on your target, take aim, and then fire. Most paintball fields should have a surrender rule or a close range shooting rule. What this means is that any player that comes within, say, 10 feet of me, I shouldn't shoot them. I should offer them a surrender because paintball shots fired within 10 to 20 feet can hurt very bad. So ask your field operator what the close range shot rule is. They'll let you know this keeps everybody safe. Setting a proper velocity for your paintball marker can keep you safe and your opponent safe. Each field has a suggested velocity that you should use while playing. Some indoor fields it may be around 240, 250 feet per second. Outdoor fields it could be up to 300 feet per second, but probably no more maybe closer to 280 or 290 feet per second. Now, feet per second, that means how fast the paintballs actually shoot. That's the velocity. Each spider paintball marker comes with instructions in the manual on adjusting your velocity. Make sure you set it at a safe adjustment before playing. This will keep you safe and your friends safe as well. Now, at a paintball field, they may have something called a chronograph. This is a machine that you can shoot into to gauge what velocity you're firing at. Then you can set your velocity down or up depending on what the chronograph says. You can find a chronograph at a paintball field or at a paintball pro shop. And so we just had a wonderful day on the paintball field. Now what? We're gonna store our paintball marker. To do this, make sure your marker's in safe mode. Make sure you have a barrel blocking device inserted into the barrel. Check for paintball removal. You want to remove all the paintballs from your marker. So we take the loader off, make sure all the paintballs are removed from this breech here, the feed neck, and the barrel. No paintballs left in the marker. Now we're ready to remove our air source. I have a CO2 tank attached here, so I'm safely going to unscrew this from my air source adapter. You might also have a high pressured air tank. 
you just want to unscrew this from your marker. Now one thing I do want to show you here, you see this gold piece right here? This is actually part of our CO2 tank. It's called the valve. It regulates the airflow from the tank into the marker. Now when I unscrew this tank, I want to make sure this valve unscrews with this cylinder. This is important. If for any reason this valve stays stationary with the marker and the cylinder unscrews, you need to go and see a certified air technician immediately so they can repair your tank. It could be quite dangerous if the valve stays in place but the cylinder moves. So check for that. So we're going to safely remove this from the marker. And now we're ready to store our paintball marker until we play next time. And those are just a few simple rules to keep you safe while playing paintball. The last thing I want to talk about is common sense. If you use common sense, you're always going to be safe. Now remember, don't ever look down the barrel of a paintball marker. Loaded or unloaded, that's not a good idea. Always keep the barrel blocking device inserted when you're not playing in a live game. Each paintball marker comes with a safety. Always keep that safety on when you're not playing in a live game. Now there's lots and lots of things that you could do with a paintball marker that we don't recommend that aren't common sense. Well, one would be to shoot at your friend riding a skateboard down the street. Two, shooting up at a helicopter flying by in the neighborhood. Three, shooting at your buddy because he wants to know how bad it hurts to get hit with a paintball. Don't do any of these. They're not good ideas. Remember, use common sense and you'll stay safe. It's a fun and enjoyable sport. As always, be safe and have fun. Thanks for watching.